Hi there, welcome to Excuse the Beard. Quick uh, review or quick first drive opinions on the Hyundai Alcazar. Well, this is Hyundai's third three row version of the Greta. Slightly longer wheelbase, 150 mm longer wheelbase, slightly longer carb. Is the third row practical? Uh, yeah, in a pinch, it is. Uh, ow, ow. Hi. Here I am in the third row of the Hyundai Alcazar. Now, I am 5'11 and about 85 kgs. And well, it's not exactly the easiest fit for me. What is nice about this third row is that I've got an AC blower control here. I've got lights. I've got a USB charger on both sides. And that's about it. <laughs> This third row is supposed to be used in a pinch. I wouldn't use this um, on, say, a regular basis. You could possibly fit in a couple of school bags at the back uh, when the third row is up. But the second row on the six seat version, really nice. Hi again. Now, I'm in the so-called seat G seat of the car. They call it seat G seat because you're diagonally behind the driver. Take off my mask. And the second row has a lot of features. You've got a fast charging USB point here, but you also got a wireless charger for your phones down here. You've got a couple of small can holders rather than cup holders. You've got a bit of storage space here. Um, well, you've got, you've got a tray table. You've got a tray table which you can use. Oop, there we go. Um, maximum weight of 3.5 kg, so something like a MacBook Air or a lightweight computer. Um, a bit of storage here. Bottle holders. It's hot day, and you've got these curtains, which is a very nice feature on a very hot and humid day like today. Hydrate. My Christian Ronaldo approved Agua. But uh, in terms of space, uh, at least in the second row, I'm, and this seat is fully forward right now, the Alcazar is surprisingly comfortable. Um, well, I would have liked the ventilated seats in this row also, but um, yeah, on a long distance drive, um, this is a nice space to be, definitely. I'd put this headrest a bit higher as well, but yep, nice place to be. I, to be specific, I am driving the petrol manual six-seat version of the car. This has a new, uh, new uh, third-generation new engine. The second-generation new engine is the one that's on the Elantra and on the Tucson. 157 PS, really smooth, really nice engine. Got more than enough power for this large car. Uh, Hyundai is putting this car against vehicles like the Tata Safari, the MG Hector Plus and the Mahindra XUV 500 and of course the soon to come Mahindra XUV 700. Uh, it's a lot lighter than those vehicles. Hyundai's use a lot of high strength steel and advanced high strength steel so it makes this car about uh, 400 kilograms lighter than the competition so they've managed to get away putting a 1.5 diesel engine on the diesel variant of the car. Hyundai is selling the blue link connectivity in the car. You can put voice controls to open the sunroof or the driver window or operate the air conditioner. Uh, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I prefer Apple CarPlay. Just come into the car, hook up CarPlay. What I love about this car is this 10.25 inch digital display instrument cluster, which has inbuilt the turn indicator cameras. So when I give the indicators, uh, the display comes because it's a long car, so there's a significant blind spot, but when I get the indicator, I get this both on the right and on the left. Really cool feature. I hope this comes on to more Hyundai cars and more cars soon. Same 10.25 inch uh, screen here that you get on many top-end Hyundai Kia group of cars. Um, auto AC controls, no dual zones or anything like that. Well, I don't know why people want three-row cars because they really are going to use a three-third row. I mean, the third row makes sense if you're doing the school run. But of course, in the times we live in, school run hasn't been happening for most people. Um, that said, if you want a car, you want a two-row SUV with additional luggage space, 
this is not a you know this is many people i know want that they don't really care about the third row as much as they care about the luggage space the additional luggage space you get in the third row down or off completely and luggage space is significant with that operating the third row with the ropes very easy takes minutes um and you know as i said if you want to use a third row in a pinch doing it you know dropping your kids to school kids you know in your carpool group and then not use a third row when you go up on a holiday you know that that's what i'd say i find you know extended wheelbase models a bit floaty i've really not taken this car up to very high speeds and you know thrown it into a corner but you know when i have taken corners a bit aggressively body roll is not significantly more than the Creta and uh, that is a compliment to Hyundai's engine it's not, I'm not saying there is no body roll there is uh, there is body roll there is additional body roll compared to the Creta uh, the ride quality could be a bit better but it's not it's not that bad a place to be uh, the name Alcazar is actually the Spanish corruption of the Arabic Alcazar that's because the Arabs actually ruled over most of the Iberian Peninsula until the 15th century uh, and the most famous Alcazar of all time was of course Alhambra but that's something else altogether we can get into that discussion some other time Hyundai is really pushing blue link connectivity on this car you can do stuff such as open the sunroof and the driver's side window and control the AC with uh, voice commands if you want to I find that a bit gimmicky though um, you know, just hook on Apple CarPlay, got my music, really don't want too many other things. But what I do not like is the fact that the two models below this, the two spec levels below this, do not have six airbags. Um, this car does, this particular model does, but I really wish when they had put six airbags on all three spec versions. Um, that is a negative. The other one is a bit of a, a bit of a stretch which is that this car has ventilated seats for the front drivers, which I think is a great feature on Hyundai cars, particularly on these sweltry June days. Uh, but having that in the middle row would have also been a nice touch. Um, other than that, really, really nice car. I mean, I haven't tried out the ambient lighting, which I believe this car has 64 color ambient lighting choices. Most people will probably buy this car essentially to be used as a two-row car with additional space at the back for luggage or long-distance drives or use this as a carpool car for the school journey so thanks for watching and uh, really appreciate this uh, drive you know slide back you know return to normalcy for all of us so thank you so much